you know, speaking of Steve Harvey, right? <laughs> so allegedly, from what we've seen online, his wife uh, of umpteen years was caught cheating with uh, the bodyguard and maybe maybe someone else. The um, chef? The chef, right? Now, do you think this is true? Do you think this really happened? Um, Auntie did not do that. Auntie Marjorie, she didn't do that. She didn't. Now, maybe the old her? Maybe. We heard some I things about the old her. I can see her jeopardizing what she has now with that. Because he has provided a very soft life for not just her, but her children. Mm-hmm. She, like, her daughter even changed her last name to Harvey. Mm-hmm. That is not his kid. Mm-hmm. Um, she has a very soft life. Sis is any and everywhere now. Um, like I said, she had a questionable past. You know, her baby father's his cousins. Um, <clears throat> they was both kingpins, and when one got Sis? locked up, she got yeah. When one got locked up, she got with the other cousin. So her kids are like cousins <laughs> and <laughs> brothers and sisters. You know, it's, it's and wild. This is, and this is then. This was a, this was a minute ago. And this is this was and like twenty something years so ago. So she had <laughs> her baby father's his cousins, and this far fetch. Yes. That she clapped the but chef wait, so and the now person her, trainer. Her Go ahead, Steve, sister. Go her ahead, sister. Steve Harvey also dated at one point. So his his big thing is always he came back. They came back to each other. Cool. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, number one, when you when you when you get older, you you know better, you do better. Number one. Number two, I just can't see. I hope it's not true. I I love them together. They look great together. I just can't see it for the simple fact, like, sis, why would you fuck up your bag? He's the bag. And he makes it very clear. She don't have to work. He pays all the bills. Like he's very old school with that way of thinking. I, I just, I just can't. you you fucked it up with the help. I don't. You're kidding me, right? I don't. I don't know about that one. Um, it goes back to what I said many months ago. Every day is probation. <laughs> People get comfortable. <laughs> now Steve Harvey's gut is out of control. Guess what? The bodyguard's gut is not out of control. Steve Steve Harvey is in shape, my G. Steve Harvey looks great. <laughs> you bugging? He looks, but he looks great. Forever young. Cut it out. You gotta be forever I'm young. I'm so it. serious. I'm riding with Auntie that she's not doing it. It's all cap. And Steve Harvey already came out and was like, move along and find, as Jada would say, moving right along or whatever. <laughs> like find something else and find somebody. Because else this will him. destroy his image. You think so? Think, I don't think like so. a man. Hold on. I don't think it was... Think specific. like a man. But look how long ago Think Like a Man came out. Like, that shit was so long ago. And then... That, Do the women think like men now? But y'all, everybody dragged him through the mud anyway for that book. It and was like, a, you wrote that on your fourth, fifth marriage and all this other shit. What are women doing now? Are they acting like men now? Women mm. now are acting like anything but ladies. I don't fucking know. You then, got Pound Town and every... But there's a lot of shit Steve Harvey said, told women not to do in that book that women are following now. Like, the like whole what? pound town and all, being all raunchy. He didn't talk about none of that shit in his book. He talked about, you don't put all your cards on the table. You don't date just one man exclusively until he is serious about you. Like, he gave certain pointers and tips. To me, it was like a... I took that book as, like, a way to look at the red flags. Like, he showed you things that would be red flags with men. In my opinion. That's how I took it. But I also grew up with my father, so I wasn't looking for nothing major from Steve Harvey. You know what I'm saying? But I hope it's not true. I love them together. I think they look so cute. Um, so let's say it is true. Let's 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 say it is true. How should this be handled, JC? If this is true, he should come out in the public, like how Tiger Woods did when he got caught cheating like a bird, right? So he should come out and say, you know what, guys? I apologize to all the black black brothers in the world. I simped. I made a I made a terrible mistake. I should have never, I should have followed the rules. I should have never changed her kid's name, last name to my last name. That's number one. Because once you start doing things like that, a woman starts to feel like she owns you. These days, it's not back in the day where they'd be appreciative. It's very different now. You cannot do that much for a woman now. Mm. You do too much now, it backfires. So there's supposed to be a limit. To you, to it's supposed to be limitations on what you do for the, the one you love. Absolutely, and <clears throat> prenups should be involved because this I, is business. I agree with prenups. This is business. 
right? I agree with prenups, but I don't... The moment you start falling off? I agree with prenups, but I also feel like if you're the man to pay all the bills and be the king of the castle, I don't think it's anything wrong with that. Whether it ends the way people are uh, speculating that their situation is going to end, because that's who you are, right? You're going to be who you are no matter what the situation is. So if you're a provider, you're going to be a provider. If you're a protector, you're a protector. If you pay all the bills, you pay all the bills. I don't think that's going to make or break him either way. So I don't think he should have limited anything. Like, that's your wife. Go go balls to the wall. It is. But um, when things hit the fan and things go like how they are now... But that's the risk we take in marriage no, and in love. No, no, no. Only black people take that risk. Oh, my God. White people don't take that risk. We got to start Why? Follow- why don't they take... Please tell me why they don't take their Because everything they do is about business. No matter how much they love you, no matter how long they knew you, at any given time, when you don't start doing what you're supposed to do, good night. So you don't think it's white men out there that are being done crazy by their wives? They probably do, but they don't care. Because... Everybody Bes- don't have a prenup. Besides the fact that they probably doing the same thing times 20, <laughs> they have cash. And they doing it, and they sticking in for business purposes. Not all of them. Like, I'm a part of this Long Island uh, moms group. <laughs> Y'all got to hear the way these women talk about their husbands and right. their ex-husbands. Right. and uh, um, I It's know, crazy. I don't like dis- divorce lawyer, It's right? no different. It's, and when I tell you, some they, of their shit gets it. ugly. Like, my dad... One of his coworkers was a white guy. He found out the kid wasn't his. He still had to pay child support for the kid. Got divorced. Shorty was sleeping with. And this, these were white people. Like, they're not better than us by any means. Of course they're not. They shit is just more... It actually is uglier to me on their side because both people get lawyered up. And now it's, I'm going to take you for everything you have to where black people, it just sometimes you just be lucky to... Do get black, out with do, a car. Do, so. black, do black people have the money to get lawyered up? Sometimes no. Sometimes no. But I'm just, or some sometimes their lawyers are family friends, or it's the family lawyer, whatever, whatever. But I'm just saying, like, they go through their shit too. It's not that that's definitely not a black I'm or not, white I'm thing. not saying that they don't, but they keep it more organized. And they keep it more under the radar. It just I so think, happened that he told your father because they're co-workers. I think they keep it under the radar for the sake of embarrassment more than anything. Because, again, white men are usually raised to provide, mm-hmm. right? They work. I know so many women who don't have to work. Their man doesn't want them working. You can stay home, take care of the kids. I'll be the breadwinner. Cool. But I think it's more embarrassment more than anything like, bitch, what? Or you do have the situation, like you said, he's doing him. So, bitch, I owe you one. If, if, if a guy wants a woman to stay home all the time, right? You don't work. You relax. What happens when you get bored? When which when who gets bored? The woman or the man? The woman. Everything is good. Get like, a hobby. Start a side business. How about have a side nigger? That's what they do. Ding ding ding. <laughs> My man, Cardi B says she's tired of having cash. <laughs> Pass it to me, Cardi. What the? What you mean? She, she said I'm You're getting bored with all this bread. Cash? Okay. I didn't even hear that. That sounds crazy. She says she's getting bored because she has bread and she likes then doing donated. hood rat things. <gasps> Sean, am I lying? <laughs> Maybe because I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Man. I, I, she said that. That's ignorant as hell. 